Now, in this video, I will explain how the customers can do the transactions through this checkout page. To view the checkout page, click on this icon. Now you can see the interface of the checkout page. This is the product name. These are the purchase details, the name of the plan and the price of the plan, the setup free and the total amount of the plan as well as the setup fee. And here you can see the details of the product, which is this is a plan for one cycle. Now coming to the checkout form. In this form, you can see two fields such as contact information and payment information. In the contact information, you have to enter the details. Means if I am a customer, then I have to enter my details such as first name, last name, email address, street, city, country, zip code, state, coupon code and then I just have to click the coupon. If there is any coupon associated with this plan of the product. Now the payment information. In the payment information, you can select any kind of payment gateway such as Stripe or the test gateway in sandbox mode. But now you can't see the payment gateway of PayPal as I have not added it yet. So for example, I just have added the Stripe payment gateway. Since we are performing a demo, so I am selecting the test information. So let's start filling this form now. Here I have to write the first name, Harold, and the last name, Smith. The email address, testing01 at the rate gmail.com. Suppose the street name is ABC. The name of the city is Dallas. Country United States. Zip code 75001. And the state Texas. If you want to apply the coupon, then you can enter the coupon code here or otherwise you can just scroll down to the payment information section. Now coming to the payment information. For this demo mode, I am just selecting the test payment gateway. You can either select success or payment failure. Success means the transaction is successful or completed or payment failure means the transaction is failed. So for this case, I'm just selecting the test payment gateway in sandbox mode. You can't see the PayPal payment gateway because I have not added it yet. So just for example, you can see the Stripe payment gateway and the test payment in sandbox mode. Here I can choose the success. This is not really someone's card details. This is just a computer generated card detail. Here you can see the card number the month of expiry and the year of expiry of this card. And here you can see the CVV number. After all the details are filled, just click on subscribe now to complete the purchase. This is the thank page you will see after the completion of the transaction in which you will see thank you for your purchase. Thanks for being awesome. We hope you enjoy your purchase. And in case if you have any recurring payment, then you will see the next billing date in this area. Now I am closing this window and will check also whether my subscription in the dashboard is showing or not. Now clicking on the dashboard icon. Now you can see the customer name as Harold Smith, customer email, the product name, the payment done, that is $30, the status of the payment, which is live, and the date of the payment and the time. Earlier, you were not able to see these details, means total sales, refunds, 
new subscriptions cancel subscription and rebase which means the next transaction fee so this is how you can do the transactions through the checkout page suppose you want to redirect your customers to a new url or any alternate url in place of thanks page then you can add a redirecting url from the products menu just click on products menu this is the name of the product and from this icon you can add the description of the product as well as the product name and the redirect url so just click on this icon this is the field of redirect url on which i want my customer to be redirected after the transactions so for example i'm writing here as so for example i'm writing as www.pabli dot com slash subscriptions now saving it now if i want to verify whether the url is redirecting or not i must check it via the checkout page so click on view checkout page again you have to enter the field such as and you results i can write here any street name such as d e f city any character x y z country united states state texas zip code 75002 now again testing the payment gateway and sandbox mode in success street when all the details are filled just click on subscribe now now you can see the page is redirected to pabli subscriptions home page which i have entered earlier in the products description so this is how the checkout page work while including the redirect url